That is true. Earlier today, your colleague, Senator Libis, had a really interesting exchange with reporters, I thought. I'm not sure if you quite saw it, but he, he basically said, would, the question is the millionaire's tax. Obviously, the governor has made it quite clear that he'd like to see it sunset at the end of the year. Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, some of his colleagues, or rather his conference members, have suggested it's impossible to cut your way out of a 9 to $10 billion budget deficit. And that's a debate that I'm sure we could have also. However, in this particular instance, the question was, is reauthorization of something that is a tax that is going to sunset actually the passage of a new tax? Or might you have the door open to reauthorize that and still stick to your pledge of no new taxes? There's no way the Senate Republicans, in my mind, are going to reauthorize the millionaire's tax. I just don't see it happening. It's, it, we've pledged no new taxes, and I, I'm sure that that pledge is going to be, uh, be honored. Uh, we want to be consistent, and, if it, and especially when we have a partner with the governor on that issue, why would we back off of that pledge? I don't know, but arguably you could say that it's not actually a new tax. It's an existing tax that's supposed to go away, and instead you just continue it down the well, road. Well, if you want to have a pretext to continue taxes, uh, <laughs> then you could use that argument, and uh, the Assembly has used many of those arguments. I'm just saying that there's no way the Senate would... Uh, uh, by that argument since uh, we said no new taxes and the governor's agreeing on that. Okay. Point.